City Network. <laughs> And good evening once again, fans. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. My guest tonight, Dr. Lawrence, Dr. Lawrence Zickerman, and we're going to be talking to him about the upcoming show, May 25th, for Dog Pro Rest, Dog Adrenaline Pro Wrestling Gladiators, and much, much more. We're going to see what's going on with him, and much, much more. Tune in right now, fans. Let's talk wrestling. Well. Well, 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 Mr. Dr. Zickerman. It's been a while. Hey, man. How have you been? Dr. Zirconia is in the house. Yes, he is. The doc is in the house again, once again. Man, it's been it's been a, quite a while since we've uh, podcasted. I don't even remember when the last time was. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a while, but uh, I'm glad to be back. So you have a lot of doctors on this week, apparently. Yeah, doctor's week, right? I know. What's going on with that? Yeah, doc- I know you need, I'm gonna ha- need doctors. Dr. Deathmatch Russell, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Dr. Oz will help you out, or uh, maybe Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, yeah, the one and only Dr. Phil. The one and only doctor. I never watched that show. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody in the right mind. No, it's like anything. watching a soap opera. Come on, you know? Well, I don't have any soap operas, but I got some great wrestling events to promote. Well, at least one great wrestling event. Big, event big promote. announcement. Yes, yes, big one. The big shebang, the big, the big, uh, yes, let's get into it. Uh, <laughs> On Saturday night, May 25th, at the Max Fed Sports Center, located at 240 Delcy Drive South in beautiful uptown Glassboro, New Jersey, Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators will proudly present the King of the Monsters. It's going to be a 7.30 bell time, and tickets are going to be only $15. There's going to be nine matches on this card from top to bottom, including four championship matches. Yes, my God, I'm looking at the card, and it's solidly stacked. you got guys that are coming in, even some new names, too. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of great things. I mean, let's start (laughs) off with one half of the double main event. William Huckabee, the World Wrestling Grand Prix heavyweight champion, will be defending against former champion Biggie Biggs. They've been feuding now for the better part of a year. Yeah, I want to say. I want to say. Let me jump into that. How how has that feud been going since then? Not last time we talked. I think they were really going at it. You know, for some time now, right? Yeah. William Huck could be defended against Chris Steeler quite a few events ago. Mm-hmm. And um, after defeating Chris Steeler, Biggie Biggs came out to congratulate him and chokeslam William Huck to be. Mm-hmm. And then Biggie Biggs and Steeler, they created a faction called PTS and they attacked. William Huckabee put the chair around his neck, jumped off the top rope, injuring William Huckabee, mm. and it's just gotten very personal since then. Uh, Man, yeah, yeah it's, you've had the police involved, and you've had, geez, it's it's crazy, you know. It's, it's the same. Oh yeah, it's it's you can't you can't keep these two guys apart, you know. It's, well, I don't have to keep them apart now because they'll be going one on one for the World Wrestling Grand Prix Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, Biggie's looking to get back the championship he never lost. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be something. It's not going to be a wrestling match. I think you're going to see a fight. A Not only that, so just to make sure it's one on one. Chris Steeler and Kyle Payne, who've both now joined Biggie Biggs as part of PTS, are banned from ringside. Ooh, the ban from ringside. There you go. That's what we wanted. Yes. Yes, you always have to put the ban on. Yeah, so what I was saying, the security, yeah, you got to have, yep, so no interference. No interference from both sides of the parties or anybody at all, you know, gets yeah. gets involved in the match. Just, just a one-on-one matchup between two people who want to beat each other up, and I'm going to let them do just that. Yeah. And this time it's for a championship of gold. That is, it is. And if not, then 
it's another time for another match. <laughs> you know, another day, another dollar, right? As they say. Another one. Yeah. And speaking of another championship match, the yeah. Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators Heavyweight Championship is going to be on the line as champion Breaker Moran defends against Steve Gipke. Steve Gipke used to be part of the Down Boys, former one half of the Dog Tag Team champion. Yes, I know. Now he's looking is. for singles gold. Ooh, singles action. Ooh. ooh. Man, that's scary. All right, shout out to him for that. He's uh, he's doing his thing still. I haven't seen him in decades. <laughs> I miss seeing that guy in action. Man. Well, Breaker's amazing. He's won yeah. the Dangerous General Wrestling Gladiator Championship in a match against uh, Dirty Money. Actually, he was the interim champion. He unified the interim and the dog championship, so he became the undisputed champion. Mm-hmm. And he's been on a roll. He's been defending against Pat. Superstar Lent on Hawaii. He's got a match coming up again with Steve Gibke. He's been defending it all over. Uh, Breaker's in a renaissance right now in his career, doing just big things, and he's taking the championship gold to new heights here at Dangerous John and Wrestling Gladiators. Yeah, he is. He is. Oh, I see a You're... I see a female on this flyer here. Ooh. Oh yeah. Casey Carlisle is coming in defending the World Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Championship. Mm-hmm. The title went, she went a little over a year ago. Mm-hmm. And she's been defending it all over the country and in many places. Defending it against J.L. Koto, who is a mixed martial artist. Mm-hmm. We spent a lot of time working out with the uh, WXW uh, Samu School. Mm-hmm. And by the way, best of luck to Samu with his uh, illness right now. Just send best wishes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but it's yeah. it's going to be a great event. So that's going to be another one of the four championship matches on the event this on this night, mm-hmm. uh, May twenty fifth. You're going to see a woman's like I said, the World Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Championship match. Casey Carlisle defending against JL Coda. It's going to be a, a wonderful, amazing encounter. Uh, Casey, that's one night removed. Uh, if she's whether she's successful or not. Mm-hmm. She'll, the very next night, she's going to go against Alice Danger for the NWA World Women's Championship. Uh, Casey's a former NWA World Women's Championship champion, mm-hmm. and she gets a chance to regain that gold. Wow. Wow. Two nights in a row. Wow. Wow. Yeah. She's, got a, she's already currently got seven women's championships and one male championship, mm-hmm. Casey Carlisle. Um, she's looking to add some more gold to her, her resume, her repertoire. Yeah, I see here you got a doctor coming in. I heard there's a doc, doctor, uh, doctor Carl Martin is coming on. Yeah, doctor Carl Martin's going to be bringing his faction, yes. unstable, yes, to challenge for the Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators Tag Team Championship against the old school Empire of Patch and Vinny the Fixer. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? That's going to be uh, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one right there because the doctor has some stuff up his sleeve. I know it in chemistry and all his uh, psychology of uh, his patients and his wrestlers, of course. <clears throat> oh, of course, but Patch himself is unorthodox and just you never know what he's going to do. And Vinny the Fixer is the tactician of the group. They're kind of an odd couple tag team, but they seem to be very successful. I mean, they've already defended twice against former dog tag team champions, the Down Boys. They defeated former dog tag team, two-time dog tag team champions, South Philly's Finest. They've defeated the Heavenly Bodies. They've defeated um, every tag team that's gone and thrown in front of them. Uh, the Primal Fear, uh, Punk Rock All Stars, and they're just—it's going to be another interesting match. Unstable held gold in other places, and Doctor Carl's got them primed and ready. I think this is going to be one of those encounters you can't miss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you sh- yeah. There's a lot of other things going on. I mean, we got brother versus brother, Chuck Payne versus Kyle Payne. That's going to be really interesting. You have former tag team partners. Oh, colliding with hold on a minute, Doctor. 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 Hello. Hello. Doctor. Doctor. Hang on one second. I'm merging calls. Absolutely. I, I, I feel like my ears were burning. I'll take it though. Hang on a minute. Oh, I, let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm waiting on you, man.
I assume I lost you. <laughs> yeah, I have, I'm trying to do something here, and it's uh, not working. Is it working now? Oh, yep, got it. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, it's not working. Huh. Somebody just called us, called it into the show. Doc. Bear with me. Hello? Still there, Doc? I'm still here. Hang on. I'm just trying to do something. One, one second. Hang on. I had a call that's uh, trying to come through my other phone here. I don't know why. Nope, I guess not. What the heck was this all about? I don't know. Oh. Your call has been forwarded. Hello? I'm still here. Oh, I lost. Some. I'm trying to do something here. Hang on a second. I'm trying to find somebody. Somebody just called into the show and they want to talk, Doc. So let's see what this is all about, okay? All right. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Do you hear some dreadful? In a conference call. What's that? It says in a conference call. Who is? Your phone, it says in a conference call with you. Really? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me still? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to patch this person through. They want to talk to you, Doc. Uh-oh. This is interesting. This is like... Why is it not working now? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, boo-boo.
remember you. Doctor, are you still there? I am. Sounds like we've got a couple doctors here right now. Uh oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, doctor versus the doctor. Oh, I love it. How oh, are you know. this evening, Doctor Carl Martin? As we're just joining calls, folks. Don't worry for the delay. We're back in action. Doctor Lawrence was going over the card, and this was one of the guys who's going to be on the card with his team. I can't. I, I am just, I am the unstable. absolutely excited. Uh, this is Dr. Carl Martin speaking. I have to say, this was completely uh, unannounced. This is completely on the fly. This I want to say, this is history making. <laughs> and I want to thank you. I want to thank you for letting me grace the airwaves with the treatment before the wonderful event because what beautiful things I have to show you. <laughs> Dr. Lawrence, what do you think of that? Well, I'm looking forward to it. Um, first of all, usually when you have this many doctors in the room, somebody's going to be paying a really huge bill. Well, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to make this official. Three doctors in a row, okay? Dr. Death Match Russell has joined the team. <laughs> Uh, we're just handing these out like they're candy now. I love it. In I love it. We're shaping the world. Injections for all. Okay. <laughs> Injections for all. Mm. But yeah. Well, hopefully it's not lethal injection right now. No, 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 no. None of that. I don't like handstands. I'm not trying to bounce off the ropes. What I'm here to do is soothe the masses because. I can't tell you how excited I am. You you are giving the masses a chance. You are giving Unstable a chance at the championships. <clears throat> In our first appearance, I cannot wait to help you to understand what a good choice that was. Well, I didn't give you guys anything. You've earned it. Um, oh, 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 that wow. is beautiful. That Thank is you. Music to my ears. Challengers for for Vinny the Fixer and Patch, and it is very hard. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of people to say, "Hey, do you want to be on the event?" Yes, yes. Who am I wrestling? Patch and Vinny the Fixer. Um, I'm booked elsewhere that day. Yeah. <laughs> I find that that happens the same with my own patients. I offer treatment, and it's this is not an expensive treatment. You just have to display it to the world, which I understand has certain HIPAA-compliant restraints. So, you know, luckily you have to fully <laughs> comply <laughs> to uh, cohere to the treatment. <laughs> well, you guys earned this, this match right now, and it's going to be a championship match, Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators Tag Team Championship on the line. Again, Old School Empire versus Unstable. This match is going to be won. If, all right, the tickets are $15. That match alone is worth that $15. Easily. You're going to get the card for absolutely free. Absolutely. I, I, I'm telling you, we will pay you back in full. We will pay you back in full in experience, in a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see these teams clash. I, I am so excited. <laughs> well, I am excited, too. I'm very much looking forward to it. The Old School Empire are on a steer right now. I was just telling Deathmatch Russell how they defeated other 
champions and other uh, challengers out there, including a tag team that you know very well, Primal Fear. <laughs> I'm so well studied on them that their weaknesses become our strengths. I get to study more and more. You see, my, 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 I, I, I never want to say that again because I don't need to say that you see. You already have seen what we have to offer because you've given us this opportunity. I'm so excited to show you. I'm so excited to show you. And the old, the old dogs, the old dogs that may need to be put down. Because they're ill, aren't they? Well, if you ever met Patch, you will fully 100% believe that he ain't right in the head. So... <laughs> uh, I'm not, hey, I'm not right in the head either. How's that? No, no, I don't want anybody to be in the right mind to be there because why else would you be there unless you were there to see carnage and treatment? That's what I have to offer to you. Ooh, body bags. Hmm. <laughs> the more well that would be if uh if i were some sort of grim reaper mm. no i offer a rebirth well I halloween's open... just around the corner pretty soon mm. oh i doc doc and dog you thinking what i'm thinking hmm i'm already like planning a match here hmm an old school casket so match much. an old school casket so match hmm. much mr cahoon and my Dearest Michelle, they are athletes. Mm -hmm. They are monsters. They are. And we will show you we are real. Show the way. I believe that's apropos then because the event name is, is King of the Monsters. <laughs> monsters. And maybe just after this, you'll see Unstable Reign as next dog tag team champions. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I assure you, I require no crown. My degree atops the mountain. <laughs> not only, are you ready to hear the rest of the card? I mean, that's Why not? Please, Let's hear it. Please, because I will sit. I will sit and I will watch every match because that is what I'm here for. It's not just my patience. It is the masses. Please, I need to hear it. Well, like I was starting to say before, we got brother versus brother, Chuck Payne versus Kyle Payne. Uh, they at the last event, uh, Chuck was, I would say, Pearl Harbored by his brother, hmm. and you know they've been kind of they're family, but they've kind of had this love hate relationship. They love beating each other up just as much as they love beating everybody else up. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's going to be a match that's going to be uh, just something you can't see. It's two of Glassboro's own going oh. one-on-one. Wow, that's... That is a sibling rivalry. And, and when you say Pearl Harbor, I imagine awakening a sleeping giant and you will see wrath. I'm excited already. <laughs> You're also going to see Glassboro Zone, Eric Martin, take on Joe, uh, Johnny Moran. Johnny Moran and Eric Martin are former tag team partners. Mr. Classic, the classic Eric Martin. I, I've clashed with him. Can I tell you for a moment mm -hmm. the athlete that Eric Martin is, the specimen that he is? He is. He's adopted this whole new idea and persona. Well, he's an amazing athlete. He claims to be the greatest athlete to ever come out of Glassboro, New Jersey. That's <laughs> yeah, a short list that I think he easily tops. <laughs> I, I apologize. I apologize. I'm sure the water there is fine. It's I wouldn't go that far, but I can yeah. tell you there's a lot of athletes that come out of there, people that played for the NFL, people that played for the NBA. We've had a plethora of professional wrestlers from that from this area. So it's going to be very interesting. I am correct, in Mr. Zirconium. <laughs> Doctor, Doctor <laughs> Zirconium, I apologize. No, I, I, can we please have that stricken from the record? I need the proper, the proper... Terminology. Uh, yeah, exactly, thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't go to school away in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to uh, not have that doctorate there. 
<laughs> it was actually a correspondence course out of the Bahamas, I would have you know. <laughs> We're also going to see Chris Steeler take on D Get Bundles. That's going to be great. D Get Bundles has impressed a lot of people. He went toe to toe not that long ago with Matt Stryker and had Matt Stryker singing his praises throughout social media. And Chris Steeler is one of the most amazing, unknown, unsigned talents. He's a, he's a zirconium in the rough that most people don't know about. And yes, his attitude's a little subpar in my opinion. But his wrestling ability is definitely superior. Mm. And Chris Steeler versus D Get Bundles, maybe that sleeper match that I'll have everybody talking by the end of the night. Mm. What 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 sort of finishes could we expect from that? <laughs> well, Chris Steeler, he's part of the PTS with Biggie Biggs and Kyle Payne, and they're not exactly um the best behavior and they're not exactly on my on my Christmas list right now. They don't but sound like the most upstanding of citizens. I would not say that in the least. Hmm. Uh, he got bundles, though. He's he's uh, not exactly a fan favorite when it comes to what he can do in the ring. He is a bit of a rule breaker. So <laughs> he may get two guys who know how to cheat and do it well. And it's just that I guess who does it better that night. Ooh. I like it. I like that because it's raw. Can't it's raw. It's raw. I love that. Yeah. Gore. <laughs> You're also going to see Ray Jazz who is a amazing Olympic and, and NCAA level amateur wrestler. He's only had a few professional matches under his belt, though, and he's going to be taking on an extremely tough challenge in Killian McMurphy. Hmm. Oh, so you're telling me there is a new fresh face on the scene that, to me, sounds reminiscent of different... Uh, famed athletes, maybe like a Mr. Riddle, Mr. Angle, a Ms. Rousey. Yeah. Somebody that is from that upstart that you the could Olympia. actually see for the first time. It won't be the first time in Dog. He did take his debut last time as part of a tag match, but he was so impressive that everybody just asked for him back. He is what again, another zirconium in the rough. Some of you may not know now, but soon I think you will. Hmm. And Killing McMurphy, if you don't know him, I don't think you know professional wrestling. The guy is amazing mm -hmm. inside that ring. Yes. So because himself this Sicilian shooter, this might turn more into an MMA-style event than an actual professional wrestling match. But I think the fans are definitely in for a treat. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have to say, I will already have wonderful seats available. <laughs> And but where where can I get a seat for other patients that might be interested in treatment or seeing some of these battles? Well, they're available now at the Max Fit Sports Center. You can get them now right all the way up until the event starts. You can also contact me at facebook.com for zirconium, and I can tell you about putting tickets aside and help you get them there. But that's not even everything. There's are cool. nine matches that I mentioned. Actually, I only mentioned data. I forgot to I forgot to mention this one. One is really interesting. Pat Shamrock takes on Adonis Valero. I'm sorry. A Pat Shamrock with Adonis Valerio in his corner takes on Dylan Mesh with Daredevil Dave Dahl in his corner. If Pat Shamrock defeats Dylan Mesh, he gets five minutes, no disqualification with Dave Dahl. He, oh. Dave Dahl has been making Pat Shermark's life miserable. He Ooh. even slammed his hand in the car door, breaking his hand and oh. keeping him from the last event. Oh. And then at the last event, he, uh, when he was going part of a six-man match, after the entire event was over, he jumped at Donis Valero, Valerio in the parking lot, blowing out his knee. He had to re get uh, reconstructive ACL surgery. He's not even clear to wrestle, but he will be in Pat Shamrock's corner so you can see Pat potentially get a modicum of revenge, both against the hired gun himself, Dylan Mesh, and potentially against Daredevil Dave Dahl. That's amazing. Wow. All I can say is that I, I, I know Dylan Mesh. I have seen his performances. The coal miner himself always has protective eyewear. You need to beware of that maniac. Yes, and him and Daredevil Dave Dahl, they've actually created a bit of a faction. They call themselves the Devil's Advocates. And I think um, I definitely know for a fact that Shamrock's in for a tough night. 
I hope he's not underestimating Dylan in trying to get to Daredevil. Because if he does that, he not only will not get to him, but he'll leave that night with a loss on his record, the first loss in his career. Wow. Uh, I, I've got to tell you, do not underestimate Mr. Mesh. He, he may not look very intimidating. When you get up close, you realize how much work that man puts in the mine. He is digging and picking and working because he is ripped. And every time I see him, he's getting bigger. Be wary of him. Be very wary of him. Hmm. And as if that's not it, if I didn't give you your money's worth already, Australian superstar JXT, fresh off his WWE NXT tryout camp, is going to be on the event. What we'll be doing, I, you'll have to come to the event to find out. Huh. He's got such yeah. limited dates. Oh, yeah. He's going that's to that's the... unbelievable. I've, I've heard of this yeah. JXT. He is known worldwide. I can't believe that you were able to get him booked for one of your dates mm. oh yeah i secured it i've been wanting an australian wrestler for some time i originally uh was trying to have a couple of them come from australia but things just did not work out through his scheduling but jxt is only in the united states for a very short time Amazing. this will probably be the last time you see him in the united states until he gets signed by the wwe and wow. i feel that's inevitable Wow. Senor Deathmatch Russell, what can you tell us a little bit more about JXT? He's just a guy that's been out there, man, killing it. He, he's proven why he's, you know, he's going to be, a, you know, the next superstar, you know, stand out for WWE. And me and you, we've uh, talked about this earlier this week also. I think we were talking about how his, you know, yeah, how he got into the training and stuff about, you know, the match with, you know, his career. So, right. It, and right, so you've got to look into previous episodes, <laughs> tune into the board, and you've got a dog. You've got to go see the dogs. <laughs> Lawrence, is that it? Is that all? Well, that's the entire car, but I think I've given you a whole lot. There's a lot going on from top to bottom. Um, Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators has our event, May 25th. Max Fit Sports Center. Again, the address is 240 Delcy Drive South in beautiful Uptown Glassboro, New Jersey. Tickets are only $15. Door opens up at 7 o'clock. The event's going to start 7.30-ish. If you want it's tickets... professional to... wrestling, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. We work it Indy. on the fly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we like to call that 7.30 Indie Wrestling Time. Exactly. Yeah, so you can get your tickets now at the Mexican Sports Center. They're only $15. You can get them ahead. People that have their tickets get in first. There are no front row seats. There's all, you know, there's no, like, each seat you get to sit where you sit. You People that buy their tickets first get in first, get to pick their seats first. But that's a great part about Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators. doesn't matter where you sit. You're in for a great night of action. You can see everything. It's going to be amazing for you. Again, from top to bottom, Dog tries to their best. To give you a wrestling card, you're not going to see anywhere. Yeah, you might see a few wrestlers from here and a few wrestlers from there, but we try to bring in wrestlers from all over that you don't see in this area and mix them with the talent that you do and give them very unique and special matchups. Try to give them something special, something you're not going to see anywhere else. That's very, that's really awesome. I'm, guys, fans, if you're listening to this, go check that out this uh, May 25th, I believe. Yes, May 25th. Be there yeah. and check that out. Dr. Lawrence Zickram, I want to say thank I'm you. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I want to say thank you. Things for... are getting a little out of control here in the asylum. Hold on. Thank you for the wait. opportunities that wait. we've earned. Wait, wait, doctor. Wait, wait, other doctor, because I got something I got to say to you. But okay. Lawrence, Lawrence, thank you for being on and have thank a good you night. Very much for having me. Yep, goodbye. Dr. Yes. Do Carl. Chapter 2 <laughs> is coming soon. So very soon. Thank you for joining the podcast. Oh, thank you for having me. I need to I need to go sedate my patients, please. Yes. Please tune in. Thank you very much. Tune in. Yes, Bye -bye. thank you. I will call you back in a little while. <laughs> Doctor, I need to talk to you. 
Fans, that was really great. We uh, had a really good conversation about the Dog Pro Wrestling Show coming May 25th. And, uh, you know, just be there because it's uh, going to be a huge show. And, uh, you know, support all the wrestlers. And thank you for the doctor, Dr. Lawrence Zickerman. And to the other wrestler, <laughs> the other guy that's on the line, the one and only Dr. Carl Martin. His patients will be there and the unstable are going to be wrestling, so check them out, fans. Get out to a dog show because adrenaline wrestling is where it's at. And have a good night. Get your tickets at the door, Facebook on dog wrestling, and much, much more. Contact the doctor himself. He said you could contact him for tickets if you don't have tickets. It's going to be a great night of wrestling. Have a good night, everyone. And tune in tomorrow for another Deathmatch Russell podcast as I'm going to be back again. I said it before on my podcast. KZW Superstar uh, Killer Killer Kalen and uh, KZW Star Repic will be talking to me and we'll be talking to the rest of uh, KZW's upcoming show and much, much more. Feeling lucky and much, much more fans. Tune in this week. Thank you for listening. Have a good night. Hey, wrestling fans, I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathMatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow where wrestling passion meets street fashion. You, you can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media. DeathmatchRussell.com Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32 and on Facebook Facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32 Find me on Podcast City Network at PodcastCity.net Facebook.com slash Podcast City Network Hit the like button and share And on Twitter at PodcastCityNet You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes